This video is going to briefly go over the causes of secondary hypertension, so let's get right into it. Some of the main causes that we are going to discuss today include Cushing syndrome, hyperaldosteronism, aortic coarctation, pheochromocytoma, stenosis of the renal artery, and medications. Now, an easy way to remember these causes of secondary hypertension are to take the first letter of the first five and then the word medication and use the mnemonic CHAPS meds. CHAPS being the first letter of the first five and then meds being medication. So just remember this CHAP right here on the left with his medications on the right. So let's quickly talk about each cause of secondary hypertension on the individually. First one is Cushing syndrome. And some of the key Cushingoid features as they're known are central obesity, hirsutism, a rounded face, which is sometimes known as a moon face, and purple striae, which you could see on the bottom right picture. The most common cause of Cushing syndrome is long-term use of corticosteroids, and the features mentioned above are key signs that are seen in these patients. Moving on to aortic coarctation, this is a congenital condition in which there is narrowing of the aorta. Some of the key features that you can consider buzzwords for this condition include uh, hypertension in the upper extremities with hypotension in the lower extremities, and an x-ray that shows rib notching. So if you look over here in the bottom right picture of this x-ray, you could see rib notching along right over here and these are uh, very representative of aortic coarctation. Moving on to pheochromocytoma, this is an adrenal tumor that causes excess uh, norepinephrine or epinephrine, just general catecholamine release. Importantly, there's a triad of symptoms that are commonly seen with this condition and these include palpitations, headaches, and diaphoresis. These patients will also show pretty visible weight loss. Moving on to stenosis of the renal artery, this is where we get a narrowing of the renal artery. And because of this, we get a lack of perfusion to our kidneys, and as a result, we get excess renin release. Eventually, this re release of renin will cause hypertension, potentially putting a patient at risk for kidney damage or atrophy. It's a life-threatening condition that needs to be addressed immediately. Lastly, some medications that are responsible for secondary hypertension include oral contraceptives, estrogens, some pathomimetic drugs, NSAIDs, excess alcohol, and cocaine. And just to round everything out, there's a few causes that are still pretty important to know for secondary hypertension, and these include pregnancies, sleep apnea, carcinoid syndrome, and polycystic kidney disease. Those are some of the key causes of secondary hypertension. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching.